mean, there's no point in cold calling. There's no point in sending out random emails to people that aren't having meetings with clients. So the first thing you have to do is find your kind of ideal client persona. It's finding out what they're currently doing. If they're happy with what they're currently doing, if they're not happy with what they're currently doing, what are those pitfalls? What are they finding isn't working for them? Yeah, I mean, my, my top tip is workflow. Is actually finding your workflow, and that's either my workflow or your client's workflow. You need to find those pinch points where it's not working for either the client or their customers, and obviously working through that, either going backwards to find out why that bottleneck was caused, or moving on from that to find out how they can solve the problem. So again, it's working out the ideal workflow that works for them, because it's always for that specific client. There's not a general one, unfortunately, right. because I think I mentioned earlier, you've got, you've got your ideal client, but within that ideal client, there are different cohorts, shall I say. So again, it's trying to have that conversation that's very specific to the person on the other end. Well, it's also to show there's, there's actually a point to the meeting. And that's why I love working at Connect4 is because I don't really have to sell Connect4 yeah. because we're having them on it. Yeah. So of course, yeah. as they look in and if they're a really good client, this is going out to all of you um, current clients, if you're really good, <laughs> you can log into the pod before, look at the agenda and see if it's suitable and look at the resources. So then when you come to the actual meeting, it does relieve some of that stress. Yeah. So it's not who's on it, what we're going to discuss. Do I have the resources? Do I even have it to hand? What's he going to talk about? Mm-hmm. It's all there. So you can turn up at the meeting and actually discuss what's current, not what's gone previously. So it's, it's I'm not going to say it's easier, but it, it's a lot more beneficial to both parties. With obviously the pandemic and working from home becoming prevalent, I mean, to be honest, it wasn't as, well, nobody knew what the word Zoom was two years ago, so let's put it that way. So everybody's now used to using a video platform. So I always dismiss the video part Connect4 as not the key feature because video is kind of a given. It's actually the other tools that really help when using Connect4. It means you can be an expert in your field You can work from an office at home. And as you say, you don't need the outlay of swanky offices, a reception, a big meeting room. It's you building the relationship with the client on the Connect4 platform. And actually, that's what it should come down to. Because if you're never going to meet that client face-to-face, then this is your meeting room with that client. This Mm. pod is where you would always meet that client. You can also use Connect for in person. All you would do is you would use the agenda, you would use the notes, etc. All you'd have to do is turn off the audio and the video. And that means that an in-person meeting is still part of that history with the client. Yeah. To turn up at a meeting, use your laptop like you used to use your A4 pad, have an agenda that you can both see, and then end the meeting and record it, send the email out at the end and it becomes part of the history with that client. Some of our clients have taken on new customers that are, let's say, not easy to visit. You know, they could be hundreds of miles away. So now part of the processes are, which clients can I always see online? Which can I see online most of the time and have the odd in-face meeting? And it works for all of those events. And as I said, I'm probably gonna bang on about it far too much. It's about building a relationship and showing accountability that that's on both sides. Mm. So the the client and their customer have to both do the action items. They both have to have read the meeting notes. And again, it relies on both parties. 